to another MTD CNC technical corner. Now today we're gonna to be talking about um, a special piece of software that's gonna help you run your manufacturing house. But before we go into that, Rob, um, what, what, what challenges do manufacturers face when they're running um, any kind of manufacturing process? This is it's quite a big question, this, isn't it? So yeah, when, whenever you're running a, a manufacturing facility, whether that's CNC machining, textiles manufacture, whatever, if you're assembling manufacturing components, parts, things, um, the idea is you'll receive some kind of sales order, some kind of uh, instigation to start a manufacturing process. Once that begins, you then need to sort of track that process from the moment it comes in all the way through to the shipping. Now, traditionally, most companies will try and monitor that with some kind of paper-based process. So they'll have a sheet of paper, maybe it's a predefined template with a job number at the top, that is then passed from person to person down the manufacturing process to CNC machines, to assembly stations and so on. That's because it needs to physically follow the part as Literally, it's going around. It's, it's called a paper traveller for a reason because it travels around the shop floor and people put their information in. It's loading itself up with more and more info about what's happened to those parts. Exactly. So people will note, you know, whether they've got wastage on a particular part or, you know, maybe something's got damaged or the problem is with doing this paper process is that is quite a delicate item to, to have on the shop floor. It gets more and more valuable the longer it spends it around does. going around it, the shop floor. You're gathering that information and the problem is is that could be easy, easily be lost. It could be hard to, to, to read if you get cross that information, uh, coffee stains on it, you name it. All sorts of things can happen to that paper traveller. Um, and it becomes almost impossible to try and monitor your manufacturing process in, in real time uh, because you have to wait for this traveller to make its way around the shop floor. Okay, so let's set this up to date now. Um, I've heard the phrase MES used when you're talking about trying to uh, replace these paper travellers. What is an MES? So MES stands for Manufacturing Execution System. Um, now there's lots of acronyms around, so you'll hear things like ERP, which is Enterprise Resource Planning, MRP, which is Material Requirements Planning. So there's all these different acronyms mean different things to the shop floor. So an ERP system, uh, for example, is, is basically a much bigger system. You, you have HR in there, so your human resources, uh, you have uh, supply chain management in there, customer relationship management, invoicing, accounting, they're a huge sort of undertaking to get up and running. Now, they're used for the strategic plan, so you can use those for a strategic planning process. What a manufacturing execution system does is it is laser focused on the execution of that plan. Um, so you could have an ERP system sitting alongside an MES system where the MES system is focused on driving your manufacturing processes. Okay, so if you're viewing this, you might have noticed we've got ProdSmart uh, written right behind us. This is leading us right up to, what is ProdSmart? So ProdSmart is a, a new acquisition for, for Autodesk. So across our DNM portfolio, our design and manufacturing portfolio, we look for where we have gaps in our technology and, uh, and ProdSmart is a recent acquisition to, to fill a gap and that is for the shop floor. So what ProdSmart is, is an MES system. So it's an MES system that is uh, cloud-based, so it's, it's fully in the cloud. Um, it has a web interface, it has a mobile interface and it allows us to do our, or monitor a manufacturing process. Um, and we've added this to fill a gap in our technology. And how does it help manufacturers to improve their production systems? So when we compare it to that paper traveler, or indeed some people use Excel, uh, whenever we've got these kind of processes, we tend to sort of send that off into the, into the shop floor and we only get the information maybe at the start and maybe at the end. Now what ProdSmart allows you to do, because we've got a web interface and a mobile interface, the shop floor workers will use the mobile interface and they will enter the data uh, in real time. So you can see on the screen here, the, uh, the app interface on the mobile app. We enter the information on the production process and we can see the, the data update within the web interface in real time. So we get real live information as it's happening on the shop floor, as opposed to at the end and at the beginning. And one of the major problems with running a machine shop is when to actually manufacture the components. How do you help, how do you deal with scheduling? So uh, within the ProdSmart interface, you can see here, we've got the, the scheduling, uh, scheduling interface there. You can literally do it via drag and drop. So when you instigate a, a, a job process, um, you can place it onto the, the schedule board and simply move those around. We also have a capacity graph at the bottom, so you can identify when you're going to reach capacity uh, and adjust your scheduling accordingly to make sure you stay within your, your capabilities of your shop floor. So that shows the full factory capacity across each day. 
Yeah, and you can define that by person, by machine, by operation, so you can see different, uh, different environments and different views uh, of your capacity. But it's not just machine capacity that I guess is something new people need to think about, it's people going on holiday, it's people availability, and it's material availability as well. Yeah, and all of that is included in ProdSmart as well. So you've got uh, status dashboards to see um, you know, what, what machine availability you have. We use the same in the Birmingham Technology Center. So we see we have the big screens displaying what machines are running, uh, which particular jobs. You can display your, your staff, who's available, who's on holiday, uh, who's working on what jobs. All of that information is contained and displayed on dashboards. It's very, very easy to read from a, a you know, production manager or a manufacturing engineer's point of view. And what about taking um, data sources from outside of the software you might want to integrate with some other kind of system? So yeah, so we have uh, lots of what we call integrations that allow you to work with. So things like if you've got e-commerce sites for instigating your, your, um, uh, your production processes, you start a production order off. So things like Amazon, Shopify, and so on. Uh, we have uh, accounting uh, integrations, so things like QuickBooks Online. But we also use things like Zapier for a, a sort of a third party connection. So if you run Sage, uh, you can connect through Zapier. Um, so all of these integrations basically let us look at third party information, pull that information down uh, and, and instigate some kind of manufacturing process. We even do it with our own technology. So you can see here, here's Fusion 360. So this is the integration with Fusion 360, pulling that information down and instigating a, a, basically a bill of materials that tells us everything that is required for a particular product and that can then be passed onto the shop floor to, to start, uh, start the manufacturing process. It's fascinating, you can pick the BO up, the bomb, straight from the 3D model from Fusion without yeah. having to even so open up the cam system. Yeah, it's just effectively system. scraping the, the, the bomb, putting all that information down, uh, and you can also have associated files and so on and view those within the ProdSmart interface. So it makes it very easy to, to understand from a work instruction point of view how to assemble a part or uh, a component or an, or an assembly. With it being cloud-based, there must be uh, some really good advantages, ease of use, easy to log in, but are there any security uh, costs as well? Yeah, if we compare it to a, a traditional system where you've got a, an on-premise server, so, I mean, for a start, you've got to buy the hardware, you've got to get that up and running, you need IT support, all these kind of things that go with setting up a, an internal infrastructure, uh, and that can elongate and prolong the length of time it takes you to get, get set up. So with ProdSmart, because it's just a login on a, on a, on a web browser, uh, you can be up and running very, very quickly. Now, you ask about the cloud security. Um, certainly, we, we use Amazon Web Services in the, in the background, so that's where, our, where we're hosting, hosting the data. Um, Amazon Web Services, if you look them up, they are considered the most secure cloud computing environment available today, um, and we host the data up there. So incredibly secure, multiple levels of security that, that protects that data. On top of that, we lay our own security because we have our own login information and things like the mobile uh, interface. So if you want to use a, a mobile device, we use authentication so that you have to authenticate the, the device before you can run it with ProdSmart. So the data is very, very well protected. Um, and you think about in terms of the, the, the data loss situation, if you've got an on-premise server and you know, some kind of catastrophic problem happens, it could be something as simple as a hard drive failure, but it could be more catastrophic, you know, flood damage or a fire or whatever. If that server goes down, that is all your data gone forever. Because the data is hosted in the cloud, it's safe. It's always up there. It's always available. And therefore, you can uh, you know, continue to add to that data uh, continuously without the worry of it, of it disappearing. OK, fair enough. And if this software sounds like to the manufacturers who are listening right now, it's interesting. It's probably going to be useful for them improving the manufacturing productivity, and they're interested. But the one thing they're, in, they're worried about is they might have looked at an ERP integration before, or even an MES, and it sounded like a really big time investment. What would you say to them? Well, it's completely different with ProdSmart. <laughs> um, this, is the, this is the great thing about it. Again, because of the easy on process of getting up and running, you know, an ERP system could take six to 18 months to get implemented and, and set up and, and running. Um, this is a much, much shorter process. We have an implementation team that is there to help, um, and we say digitize the process. So take your paper traveler process, put it into the digital space, and, and set it up how, how you uh, sort of uh, you would work with all your information there. Um, and that, that's 
process can take days rather than months we're talking days so that minimizes the cost of, of, of the, the setup process um, but also maximizes the most you can get out of Prodsmart because you can get up and running and, and logging information and getting that real-time data uh, very very quickly. With such an easy implementation what's the best way to get started? Just simply get a free trial you can get it for 14 days try it out for yourself um, we also offer things like assisted trials so we can you know you can work with an implementation consultant to get to get up to speed as, as quickly as possible so um, as I said I welcome you to just go and go and try it and give it a go okay go paperless get rid of that paper and the Excel spreadsheets go for prod smart from Autodesk. Mm -hmm.